What's up, guys? This is Sava with SOS Kitchen, and today we're making tostones. Tostones are a snack made from plantains. They're deep fried and crispy, salty, golden deliciousness. I live in a really Dominican neighborhood in New York City, and you can get these at almost any restaurant in the area, but they're also really easy to make at home. Let's get started. Before you even start cutting up your plantains, you're gonna wanna prepare a bowl of cold salted water with about three garlic cloves to go into once your plantains are cut up. Putting your plantains into the water while you're cutting up the rest of them will not only give them some flavor, but also will keep them from going brown while you cut everything. The first thing that you're gonna need are some plantains. Make sure you get the green ones and not the yellow ones because the yellow ones are sweeter and softer than the green ones. And we need those starchy green plantains to make our tostones. The first thing that you're gonna have to do to the plantains is peel them. The skin is much thicker than that of a banana, so you're probably gonna need a paring knife to help you along. What you wanna do is on three or four of the ridges going around the plantain, make incisions with your paring knife about a quarter inch thick. Once you have those cuts made, you should be able to peel off the skin pretty easily. Make sure you get all the skin and don't leave any of it behind. Once your plantains are peeled, go ahead and cut them into about inch and a half pieces and put them into that bowl of salted water that you prepared earlier. Let them soak in the water for at least 10 minutes and up to 30. The longer that they sit in the water, the more flavor that they're gonna pull in. Once your plantains have soaked, pull them out of the water and put them onto some paper towel. You wanna blot them dry because you don't want any of the water going into the hot oil and popping at you. That is no fun. Heat about half an inch of oil in a pan to 350 degrees and start cooking your plantains. You'll wanna work in batches, cooking the plantains for a minute or two on each side. You're not going for brown and crispy right now, you're just looking for the plantains to go from a really pale yellow to a way more vibrant one. That's how you'll know they're ready to take out. Once you take them out of the oil, put them on some paper towel to drain a little bit, and then you're ready to start pressing them out. Now they do have special presses for tostones, but I don't have any, so what I'm using is a flat bottom ramekin. Really, anything flat will work. Because the plantains still have some oil on them from frying, they shouldn't stick to the ramekin too much. You're gonna have to use some muscle here. What you wanna do is press out your tostones until they're about a quarter inch thick. At this point, you can do two things. Either you can start frying your tostones, or you can pack them up and put them in the freezer to cook at a later date. Goya actually makes frozen tostones, but I think homemade ones are way better and also they're definitely cheaper. Once you're ready to cook your plantains a second time, heat your oil back up to 350 degrees and put your flattened plantains in to cook. This time you definitely want to get those crispy edges, so cook them on either side for two to three minutes until they're really nice and browned and crispy. Once they're done, put them on some paper towel to drain and salt them immediately. Then you're ready to snack. These are so crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. Listen to me crunching on these. I hope you try these out and let me know how you like them in the comments below. Thanks for cooking with me and see you next time.